in the entire world that begins with H. So. Name another, you know, uh, big event in the year that uh, that starts with H. You can't, exactly. No. Yeah, it's impossible. Holiday no. Town, I guess, but no, that sounds weird. All right, so we got the Greek sisters. One who does not know all that much about Soul Calibur might say this is a mirror match, but those people are fat liars and you shouldn't listen to them. Yeah, they're distinct characters, and they actually, a lot of people say, like, they, they, they say the Greeks as if, like, they play the same. These characters are quite different in their just general game plan. Cassandra, quite a bit more aggressive, uh, a lot more, like, frame trap heavy and everything within, like, staggered offense with, like, her 6B. Uh, and Sophie, a lot more fundamental. A lot more fundamental and definitely better with the block punishment with the stabs. Yes. Um, it's definitely more of a spacing neutral game from Sophie and much more of a pressure frame trap uh, kind of style from Cassandra. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> party will trying to call out the, uh, the the duck with the low throw, but no, you're gonna get punished for it. Yeah, one of the things that uh, might be very difficult for Party Wolf to you know kind of traverse is the fact that Zeph does play Cass as well. So, as far as I know, that's not necessarily the case with Sophie on the other end. Uh, he does play Sophie a little bit, especially in Season 2. He's been trying her out recently. Oh, but not, well, pardon me like all a, to hell. Yeah, hey, you know how it do. Yo, explosions. <laughs> Ooh, what? And... I don't know what that combo was. Yeah, I think he's trying to make the most of it. Maybe he didn't expect that he even hit uh, yeah. that guy with it. I didn't close it with the 1k, though. It was some sort of like weird, disjointed uh, hitbox. But yeah, it's, I feel like it's really going to come down to like... If Zeph is able to use his uh, incredibly good movement to kind of cool down any kind of aggression that Party Wolf was going to be able to pull out. Oh, but it looks like it's actually kind of going the reverse way as, uh, as what I just described. <laughs> it's, it's the commentator's curse, as they always say, right, Yeah, Jim? yeah, yeah. Okay, not going for the whiff punish, going for the 2 k instead. And they're not necessarily, okay. Yeah, not necessarily getting the punishes that they couldn't uh, particularly get. Whoop! And that's not it. No, 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 whipping the back throw, that would have been the ground. And just hits him with the uh, wall rising uh, attack there, the angel step A. Party Wolf just kind of Ooh. spacing it out. Ow, but, oh, the side step 2 2 B. Sure, you can. Well, it's 6 6 A on block, putting himself uh, at what, minus 12? And yes. then doing a side step? Like, you know, for a character that has an I 10, that's a little bit uh, okay, you know. Yeah. Popping soul charge right out. now. Okay, Party Wolf answering back with soul charge of his own. Both these characters are extremely scary. Dropping the collies down. Both Calling pretty. Yeah, definitely both pretty scary, but only one of them is an incendiary d device when they're <laughs> doing soul charge. That's true. Oh, decide not to go for like the back turn to get like the divine force. Yeah, okay. Slam her down. Gonna call the Lunder down again. Uh, thunder down. Oh, but what a crazy challenge from Zephukai! Yeah, Dude, very, very risky. Range. That was great. So we got one and a half bars to two. Chances are Party Wolf's not going to get... Well, he might get his second bar in this game, but uh, there is a chance that he won't. Okay. What a great challenge from Party Wolf. Just kind of blocking Staggery's off just a little bit, but the counter hit while rising B is going to be a lot of damage. Gets the block pressure. Yeah, he wasn't able to roll that. One thing that I'm noticing Party Wolf is able to do a little bit more in the later rounds is that he's able to abuse his AA, or maybe even single A, which is a lot better than Sophie's by being two frames faster. Yes, it is. And that, that two frames makes a huge difference. In oh, gigantic, yes. Yeah. I have no idea why they gave it there. Okay, so he decides to spend the bar, which at yellow life is really going to mean a lot. Plus, yeah, he's going to yeah. get really good Oki on this. Yes, he will. It's going to be... He has to guess correctly here, Party Wolf. You could try and tech forward, maybe, and get a... Uh, okay, no, it's going to hold guard. Yeah, he, he was okay with even taking, like, the 1k if it were to happen and then soul charging. Ooh, Ooh nice punish. Oh, oh, and text into the 1k. Zafukai just staying clutch, able to secure it. So, the question punish. is, I presume, boom, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, this is very much like the other online tournaments where Party Wolf does have the ability to keep the same stage if he wants to, yes? Correct, correct. Yeah, so I'm curious to see if he decides to do the same thing. I feel like he would want something smaller, but I might be Welcome dead wrong about that. Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's kind of interesting. Um, just like the stage selection in the, in matchups, right? Uh, it looks like he's going random. Yeah, he's going to random it out and getting a smaller stage. Uh, but just you, as you mentioned before, Sophie kind of being more spacing, kind of whiff punish, block punish kind of a character. Having, giving her the ability, like, or restricting her ability to like, kind of run around could play a, a factor in this matchup. 
And now the question is, which one of them is better with the wall combos? And especially if either of these characters, and I believe, I, I almost know for sure that Sophie does, but I don't know about Cass, having the ability to get the wall hit on this stage that will break the wall into a ring out. Yeah, I, I, I think don't it know depends. If, Cass has that. if Cassandra has Divine Force, I believe she can, but okay. I'm not sure 100% on how well she does it without Divine Force. That makes sense. Okay, the players poking at each other, not attacking the throw this time. Doesn't go, doesn't even attempt for the extension. Nice. Trying to get the plus frames instead. It's kind of crazy that we see Party Wolf going for um, that one wall rising B type uh, move, but not like that shield bash, which is only minus ten. But I guess he he knows and he can confirm. <laughs> you got a lot of jumping stuff going on. Just jumping right over each other. One thing that I think is very very important that Party Wolf has to. Oh, that's going to be it. Uh, yeah, that Party Wolf has to get used to is that uh, Zeph is getting a lot of mileage out of these 6 6 A's. They're yeah, not really going punished. No, they're not going punished. And Party Wolf's relying on a lot of like unsafe um, like mix ups. Like, he's going yeah. for a lot of like Angel Step A B's and like single, uh, Angel Step A's as like a mix up, and it's not really netting him any reward. Well, yeah, this kind of goes back to what I was talking about before. One of the things that I think. Zeph has kind of shown in this set and the set that I had with him last night where one of Zeph's uh, incredibly strong qualities is cooling down any kind of pressure that the opponent's going to do, mitigating any kind of risks and making it purely a neutral and fundamental game which Sophie is the strongest. Yeah, definitely one of the biggest strengths as a player, Party Wolf is going to be popping Soul Charge right now. I'm getting the block punish again. Party Wolf is gone for these unsafe options to try and like duck under a move that Zeph is doing, but he's just holding guard. Well, it's also just the fact that, yeah, it's, it, it, I find that that is a classic setup for Cass um, to go for that move once they're in Soul Charts because a lot of people tend to sidestep. And he's just getting surprised by the fact that Zep is maintaining his confidence of just neutral block. Yeah, which... Nice uh, step. Yeah, it's a good step. Ugh. Party Wolf, oh, but a little too early on the wall comp. We're not going to get anything out of it. And doesn't punish the stab either. Yeah. yeah, we might have a little bit of an online issue kind of going on. Ooh, nice step. Could have gotten a little bit more, but I appreciate that he's finally going to that low. It is important to note that Sophie's guard gauge is red. Yeah, These are the most tense moments. Uh, is that game? No? Not quite. Not going to close it out yet, but the 2 2k going to end it. And yeah, Sophia doesn't really have the ability outside of uh, Critical Edge to heal her guard on command, like uh, Cassandra does with her Divine Force. Whenever she uses it, she heals uh, a lot of her guard gauge. Yeah, one could argue that the guard... Well, not if uh, Zeph keeps running a train here, but I was going to say that it was almost guaranteed that we were going to see a guard crush at some point. Probably in this round, we're gonna see if uh, if Party Wolf is even able to pull it off. Wow, the the back turn, oh, yeah, the, the back, back turn is possible. Crazy stuff, just poking him right now, and Zephukai is nice just block. one mix up away from getting in. Party Wolf dropping the punish, so uncharacteristic of him, and he needs to make something happen. Popping Soul Charge, he's gonna yeah, try he's and break his guard here. And he also has never mind. And he also had the guard break, but it looks like he was so used to Zephukai uh, staying.